So this is Bamu Tobin, the well-known picture with the money demand with elasticity of one half, and this is also a square root formula for the number of trips, and what is on the axis is the opportunity cost, the interest rate. As you increase the interest rate in Bamu Tobin, what do you do? For very high interest rate, it's <coughs> costly to have a lot of money, so you make a lot of withdrawals. You trade off the two types of costs. Now with this parameter P, things change a little bit because you know, you're not going to, well, like here we have four and a half trips. <laughs> you're not going to make uh, more than four. Okay, so suppose that the interest rate keeps going down. Now what you like to do is to economize on the trips. But in this version of the model, I told you, you have four and a half trips that are free. So what's the point of economizing that? So you're just going to be flat here. That means that it's going to be also flat here, the money demand. So if you look at the elasticity of this money demand with respect to R, will be either one half or zero. And where this is cutting will depend on the comparison of R with this parameter P. Okay. Now, for those of you who kind of know sort of the empirics of money demand estimation, Bamal Tobin says the elasticity is one half. Estimated elasticity are typically very low. So there's a sense in which this model will kind of give you low elasticities. And there's a sense in which also, this comes back to your topic about uh, when they shift to velocity. There's a sense that people think that the elasticities are kind of low because of the effect of technologies that allow you to withdraw money. So think about what is going to happen here is that the length of this segment is going to be, you know, it's going to be, you know, instead of five, you're going to have six. So this is a different way of parameterizing the technology. You still have the cost B, but they have this other parameter P. And they have different meaning, as you can see, because they really, the parameter P changes the shape of the money demand. Let me even do more on that. So let me now rotate the parameters. Instead of having B and P, I'm going to have this B hat and P. Why? It's not clear now, but I would like to do it. So I'm just rewriting the money demand from Amontoli, well, from this uh, version of Amontoli with these two parameters. So what is this business of the minimum of these two? It's because either you are in the Bamal Tobin type of world, where the elasticity is one half, or you are in the one in which you move the interest rates and nothing happens. And this rotation is interesting because notice that if you keep B hat fixed, but you change P, you have purely a level effect on the money demand. But if you keep, but if you change B hat, you have a change on the shape of the money demand. Okay. And in particular, the, the, the two ways of technological progress are probably a decrease in B. It costs you less to go to the bank if you have to. But also there are more of these free withdrawal opportunities because there's more density of banks and ATMs. And notice that the two have opposite effects on the hat. So it's not clear whether the money demand will look less, more or less as bamboo top. By the way, we're going to use all these extremely detailed household level data to do this estimation essentially using the cross section. But let me show you some aggregate data. Just kind of to know. These are well known pictures, I think. Well, if you are into these sort of things. Um, Look at this one. No, look at this one, sorry. This is M1 to GDP for the US. It's a long time series. Roughly speaking, the blue dots are the dots used in the paper by, Lu by Lucas in Econometrica, his uh, presidential address, on the stability of the money demand. It's a beautiful money demand with a slope of one half. This is the data after uh, 1980. So what do you see? You see two things. It's lower. And it's flatter. And the typical explanation for this, the conventional wisdom for this, there's no explanation for why it's flatter, but the conventional wisdom of, of why it's lower, the money demand, in some sense, why you know for the same interest rate is lower. The conventional explanation for that is well, this is something about financial bank going the stuff that used to be an M1, now it's an M3 because they do all this sweep accounts. If you don't know it, don't worry about what it is. There's some idea that what well, used to be M1, now it's M3, or something of that sort. There's no explanation why there is a change in the slope here. 
Now, let me tell you, maybe that's true, but that is also shows up in cash. And in cash, there's nothing like, you know, it's not that there are different accounts, like if they go between M1, and 2 and M3. This is purely cash, and you, sh you show the same. The same actually shows up in Italy. Now, let me go back to the, I'll come back to these pictures, and I'll tell you why I think these are interesting. The thing that the money demand is lower and reacts less to interest rates. By the way, now this is a topic that is more or less kind of discussed, is what people call a liquidity trap. A very low interest rate, the fact that the Fed is unable to move money demand and is using some other methods for increasing the amount of liquidity, and they call this a quantitative policy. Anyway, but let me just go back and tell you what is related, how is this related. Oh, it's just enough of it. It just opens in random places. What? It's just truly random. Okay, so I discussed this little model, this is state state model. But this state state model has two predictions that with this parameter you may affect the shape in a very brutal way. The elasticity is either zero or one half. But you think about it, you know, in some maybe sometimes it's zero, sometimes it's one half. But it doesn't have these features. So now I want to have a model that will combine both things. Why do I want I think that this is interesting, this elasticity and level? Because it will look like in the aggregate. But then I also think that there will be models that will also a simple model will do that and also get this prediction. So instead of having this P being that there are five trips that are free, this is more like you're saying like a shop. Think about that the free opportunities to withdraw is not you have five every time period, every say month or something, but that P is a Poisson arrival rate of a free withdrawal opportunity. And now you have to write a model run with randomness and discounting, kind of the way we write models, but the idea is the same. This was Vamos Tobin, and even that version of Vamos Tobin that I discussed, it just says that you, it will, it will just tell you something about how you decide how often to go to the bank, but still have this, this pattern. Now P is a probability per unit of time. Think about the arrival rate and the Poisson process. So your life is going to be like this. You, you withdraw this money, then you, then all of a sudden, you get an opportunity to withdraw without, without paying any cost. Think about the, implica the, in the interpretation is that this is a time that you don't have anything else to do, and you pass by an ATM. Say you're in an airport, flight is delayed, you may as well just withdraw some cash. So you, you bring your money to the, to the optimal replenishment level, and then you keep going. Now here, it took a bit longer, maybe the it's not delay, whatever, then you keep doing. This will give you a lot of small withdrawals, a lot of them. Eventually, you were unlucky enough, and you did like a bamboo tobing good old-fashioned type of withdrawal, but there are a few of these. So there are a lot of withdrawals, and you withdraw the average amount of money when you withdraw, it could be like a number like 40%. That would depend on how big P is. Also, the withdrawal size would be smaller. So that would be kind of... The, the way the model will look like, yeah. What about volatility of the concept or the change? Volatility of P. I want to think of this in the cross-section, so P is going to be gone. The only randomness here will be P. 